so welcome back to the channel everybody uh today i just ordered something i think three days ago and it came in yesterday but i assembled it today so i'm going to show you that and i'm sure a lot of you guys are familiar with it uh i've seen it on uh with a lot of different youtube channels or something but i decided to pick one up because how i used to lift my mower deck or the zero trainer to change the blades out i took the machine i would lift it up with the bucket on wrap a chain around it and then i would pick the mower up like that and that's dangerous because the hydraulic field or something you're going to get crushed we don't like doing that so i decided i was going to order a ballard pro v i don't know i'm gonna look right here because i can't remember what the name of it is oh it's the ballard, ballard super jack v so i assembled it today i got the lime green version and it's underneath the mower now as you know these tines are supposed to go actually underneath on the deck well, we ran into a little bit of a problem with that. They don't reach the deck on this mower. And my problem was I can never get off the ground enough for the jack to get the impact under it to get the blades off. So right now, this is how I have it jacked up. And I'm going to show you what my problem is. And then hopefully, I didn't hook the air hose up, but we're going to see if we can get the blades off of it or not. So right now, I have the jack on it. And I can shake it. It's not moving. I have the brakes that I'm off jack i'm gonna release that and then we're gonna put uh, i'm gonna pull it down you guys can see what happens here so all i'm gonna do is i'm gonna lift up put my foot underneath it so stop it and then there you go and just like that come on out of it and put it down so now what you're supposed to do is you're supposed to come up to it put this underneath it you're supposed to be able to grab the deck and then you pull the deck up and then you flip it and it holds the deck in place well for one this deck moves too much and it won't pick the machine up it just moves the deck um which isn't good then not only that you can't get underneath it because the tines that pick it up aren't long enough so i can go to the front weight bar for the weight kit for the bagging system that doesn't give you enough lift so we've been going to the frame here the bottom frame and just holding it on nuts like that so i'll come in like so Make sure I'm around these two because you don't want to be under that. I'll well, actually back right out of it. Then I'll come in. And then come underneath it. Lock the parking brake and we're good to go. So overall I think that the uh jack is really good um i did have one complaint though when i was putting it together um i'm a pretty handy person so like i was putting it together and the instructions just there aren't any it's i felt like i was back like a 10 year old trying to build legos off of this parts instruction that they gave me so i tried and matching the parts as best i could i actually got it together it took me about two hours to put it together now, I don't know if I'm missing something. Maybe I am. Maybe I completely missed something on it that they did give instructions. I don't have them. But when I tried to put them together, it was not easy. Uh, it was pretty confusing. I mean, the top was to put the handle on and to put the wheels together. That was easy. But matching the brake and the two jack stands, that was a little difficult. And But I got it together, figured it out. Uh, also, you have to have an assortment of wrenches when you do it because if you do not you cannot get underneath that the way the metal is on there to tighten them because you need to have one behind it obviously and one in front of it to tighten and one to hold it to make sure it's not spinning in there it took me a few different combinations of wrenches to try to get it together but other than that um it's good i, I mean i think it'll work for me uh if not i'll make something happen with it but i like it it's, it seems like a really good product uh, i like the brake that they have on there but like i said putting it together was a little difficult uh so i don't i don't know what that was um if i'm missing something i very well could be but whatever that is that's all i have to say but i'm gonna try to change the blades here uh in a little bit uh but i just wanted to give you a quick little review of that and see if you're buying if you have a husqvarna mower for one not a lot of people run them i don't see anybody that actually has them really like runs them commercial like me uh i thought about buying a second one for next year well i'm buying a second mower for next year but i don't know if I'm going to buy Husqvarna now, because the chute, I wanted a Ballard quick chute on it. It cuts down the chute. I hate that stupid thing on the side of it. The, the chutes are round, so I can't, 
put the square piece on it. I have to see if Husqvarna makes one. If they do, I should have ordered one, but I'm not really sure. I didn't really look into it because I went to order the Ballard one. Glad I didn't because I don't want to waste the money. But we're going to see what we can do for a mower. Uh, I want to turn this into just a bagging mower. Uh, but other than that, they're they're made a little weird. Uh, they're definitely configured a lot different than any Toro, Xmark, any, any kind of like your main brand mowers that you see a lot of guys running. These are different. So... Uh, I should have known that, of course, with the jack, it was going to be different, but I think it'll work for me perfectly. A lot safer than the way I was doing it. But just wanted to hop in here, a quick little video, uh, show you. But definitely, if you're buying a Husqvarna, be careful with what you're buying for it and stuff. But other than that, I want to thank you guys for watching. Drop a comment down below if you guys have one. Uh, I see a lot of guys are rocking them because I Googled how to put it, or I YouTube how to put it together, and a lot of people came up with them, but nobody had a step by step instruction. I wanted to make one. But I would have done a lot of editing over two hours to try to get it together because I was sitting there looking at the instructions a lot. So, drop a comment below if you like the video. I can't guarantee when mowing is going to happen because we just aren't mowing right now. Like, I canceled all today, all tomorrow canceled. Friday, hopefully, we'll get out there a little bit. But no promises. Anyway, drop a comment below, like the video, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. And I'll see you in the next video.